Hello friends, thank you so much for stopping by again. One of my favorite foods is pizza. I mean, who doesn't like pizza? I like it so much, I even have a pizza oven in my backyard. However, I need a pizza peel. So we will one today out of this beautiful piece of walnut and bloodswood. So, lass uns anfangen. Let's start by getting the lumber ready. One side of the bloodswood is really rough, so I'm gonna run it through the planer to clean it up. I want the pizza peel to be side grain and about one and a half centimeter thick. I was debating for a long time over the best size of the pizza peel and I decided on 30 by 30 centimeters. For the handle part, I added an additional 30 centimeters, making it 60 centimeters long. I'm going to add in two strips of the bloodwood for an accent. To cut the strips, I'm using my table saw. Those are all the pieces I will need. Play around with the designs until you find what you like best. It did take me quite some time to find the best design, but after all, I'm a woman. We can never decide what we really want, can we? Now it's time for the glue up. Apply the glue. Spread the glue. Assemble all the pieces. Tighten the clamps. You want it snug, but make sure the wood doesn't bend. Let the glue dry overnight. It's the next day now. I guess I was a little bit too generous with the glue and the board ended up sticking to one of the clamps. This will need a little bit of force to come off. That might have not been the smartest, but at least it's out. Take a chisel to take up any large pieces of dried on glue, then run it through the plier until smooth. This board is smooth. To cut the final shape of the pizza peel, you can do it many different ways. You can trace it onto the board and cut it with a bandsaw, or you can use a CNC machine like I did. I designed the pattern of the pizza peel on my computer and then transferred it into carbide motion. I made a mistake of not setting the depth correctly, so the router bit didn't cut all the way through. But it's an easy fix, just use the bandsaw to clean up the pieces that are still stuck to the board. I like the rounded edge look for my pizza peel. To achieve this, I'm using my Makita handheld router. Round over all of the edges, top and bottom, but leave the two front edges out. For the pizza peel to work properly, we need the pizza to be able to slide on and off the pizza peel easily. Therefore, we need a bevel. One way to get a bevel is by using a sander. Just take off all the excess material until you have a nice slope. The bevel should look like this. And now it looks like we are ready for sanding. Let's go! To not end up with a super rough board the first time you wash it, let's raise the grain by spraying on some water. Let the water dry and come back and sand the board one more time. And now it's time for the finish. Like always, I'm using liquid hydration wood oil. Spread a generous amount and let the wood soak in as much as it wants. The next day, apply Moosmagos wood butter for a final finish. Buff the board for a silky finish. And the board is fertig. Now the best part begins. Let's try out a pizza peel and make some pizza. Follow me. The pizza oven takes about an hour to preheat, so let's start by making the fire. And I'm back in the kitchen. The first step is to make the dough. Add all the ingredients into the mixer. The recipe I'm using you can find in the description below.
I'm not a professional pizza maker by all means. Just give it your best to get a round shape. And of course, I'm making pizza. I have to attempt to throw it. And this is close enough to round. That will do. Here you can see my very sad garden. At least I have some fresh basil growing. And now it's time to bring out the big guns. My Kamikoto Japanese steel knife set. Kamikoto knives are made with high quality Japanese steel using traditional techniques. Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. The best part? The knives come in a heavy duty ash wooden box, which makes it a great present. The knives are not only used by me, but also by Michelin star chefs all over the world. Let's try out the knives and see how sharp they are. Hi! Yeah. Hi. Yeah. yeah. Razor sharp. Just how I like my knives. Fruit platter is served. Kamikoto has several special offers going on right now, and it's offering my viewers an extra fifty dollars off of any purchase with discount code Micah Makes. On top of the special offers they have going on right now, just click the button in the top right corner, or you can find the link in the description below. Now let's put the ingredients on the pizza and stick it in the oven. The pizza is all done. We are fertig. People keep asking, Micah, how do you cut your carbs? This is how I cut my carbs. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. Tschüss!